What's up YouTube? Coming at you today with a review of some ukulele strings. Alright, so today what I'm going to do is something slightly different for this channel. I do play the ukulele, uh, so this is not a harmonica video, this is not a camera video, this is not a bag video. And what I want to do today is to review this uh, set of strings I just got for my uh, humble baritone ukulele. This is uh, the humble Lanakai LU21B, all laminate uke, super cheap. In fact, this was a sort of factory second. So, uh, there's some blemishes down there, so I got this off eBay. And, uh, you know, a few years ago, and I love it. It's a fantastic instrument. I enjoy playing it a lot. Uh, I've been on a quest the last year or so to find the perfect set of strings for this particular ukulele. It is not, like I said, all laminate, but it does have a really nice resonance to it. And I like the mellow tone and the fact that I don't have to worry about it and I can just sort of play it whenever I want. I started out with the ubiquitous Aquila Nilgut or na uh, Nile Gut strings, new Nile Gut strings. I even tried uh, uh, sort of the red low strings, Aquila Reds for the low strings, all wound. Uh, and then I tried the Diadiro or how, however you say it, Titaniums. And then most recently I really enjoyed Martin Fluorocarbons. But the problem I was having with those strings and some of the others is that the low strings, the G, uh, D and G strings, the, the wound uh, windings were actually fraying and wearing out at my second and third fret because of my, perhaps my playing style, which is up the neck here. I play finger style blues, or sort of two finger picking style, and then some strumming on top of that. And so it was recommended to me to find an uh, unwound fluorocarbon set. People seem to really like living water strings, but I couldn't find a source easily anyway that were at least affordable to get them here in the U.S., although I do have a lead on a, on a place to check them out uh, now. These were available on Elderly Music for $6.95. They are long enough for two sets, so for me that's a screaming hot deal. The specific model number for these strings is the UKE 8200 Baritone 63 inch ukulele strings fluorocarbon from Oasis GPX clear fluorocarbon ukulele strings. Uh, so I put these on just a couple days ago. They were definitely different to put, you know, the stretching in period was a little bit longer, I think, from some of the other strings I've tried. In particular, the D and the G string have taken a little bit of time to sort of come into tune. When I first put them on, I thought they were kind of really low tension, but as they've come up to tune, the tension has sort of increased, although there is a marked difference in tension as you get to the high strings. So they're much higher tension than, than these guys are up here. Um, I guess I've been playing maybe a couple of hours over the last, let's say, 48 hours, and they've pretty much settled into tune. So that's pretty good at you know, knowing that, that they will come into tune reasonably quickly. I didn't do anything particularly to speed the process along. I just played. So I will play a little bit here in my finger style a couple of different ways. I'll do some chords. I will do it with no finger pick and then I'll, uh, some of the times I'll slip on an Alaska pick, which is another way that I play. I don't use a thumb pick, so you won't hear that. I don't think these strings would be particularly great for playing with a thumb pick because of the low tension of these um, low strings. So I'll just start off with something a little kind of pretty with a little couple of hammer-ons, that kind of stuff. put the Alaska pick on so you can sort of hear how that sounds with this style. Here, there's 
some more clarity with the pick on versus. Versus with the pick off. Uh, I'll do something a little bit more bluesy. How about. Sloppy playing there, sorry about that. I'll put the pick on for that and we'll see what that sounds like as well. Yeah, kind of sounds pretty nice there. Um, I'll just do some single note playing. Let me do it without the pick first. So you can get a kind of a nice vibrato on them. They do have a little bit mellower tone when you're just using your finger. So let's try it with the pick on. some of these lower strings because the tension is so low so you gotta watch that when you're when you're playing with string bends and vibrato and all that kind of stuff uh, let me just do some simple simple chord style stuff let's see uh, actually sound is uh, reasonable. I'm just sort of using the mics on my camera, but it's a nice camera, so maybe they'll come through, YouTube compression and all. My sort of initial impression of these strings is that you definitely get your money's worth. $6.95 for two sets, that seems like a no-brainer to me. Um, so far, I like them. They're pretty mellow, although if you use the finger pick, you can definitely bring out some sharper attack on the strings I'll put the pick back on sharper attack on the strings get a little more sustain and a little more clarity which is kind of a nice thing so I think I will generally play with the finger pick when I play I'm still getting used to the low tension on these strings and uh, especially the, the, the D and the G strings and I think that's something I'm just gonna have to compensate with as I as I get more familiar with these strings. I don't think it's a, a really a positive or a negative. I think it's more of a thing that you just get used to. Um, I'll hopefully check in after a while and let you know how well they they wear. Th thus far they feel pretty good under the finger so I'm hopeful that they'll last a while and uh, these might be the strings that I go with although you never know right. I'm gonna always be on that quest to find the strings that fit this guy perfectly. Catch you on the flip side.